How are you doing, man? Yeah, how are you doing? So, Gar spoke to you about maybe two, three weeks ago. Okay. Um, he doesn't believe that performance does believe. Huh? Who's this? What's your name? Um, he's on the camera. Oh, okay. Let's speak to him. Salam alaikum. Well, salam, how are you? You can hold it. How are you? Yeah, good, Hamdul, how are you? I'm fine, thank you. I just would like to ask you, do you believe in stoning adulterers? Yeah, I, I believe that there's a capital punishment for uh, adulterers, uh, for those who commit theft, the ones who okay. leave Islam, um, yeah. the ones who slander, uh, and those who commit uh, intimacy, uh, sex outside of marriage, yes. All, all right, but punishment. yes. Do you yeah, believe but, it? No, I don't believe in that. Why? Why it is not in Quran? So, are, are you rejecting? The, are you rejecting like what the Quran and the Sunnah says? No, I don't reject the Quran. I don't reject the Sunnah. But I reject the fabricated hadiths that uh, you know make such a claim that there is a verse in Quran that is missing because it was eaten by a goat. The the verse of stoning adulterers. So what? why why it was eaten by a goat? Can you tell me where Do is the know, verse? Are you a Muslim? I am a Muslim, yes. Okay, so let me get this right. So if I know, I'll, I'll give you an example. If I know my time table by heart, one times one, two times two, three times three. If I write this down and my goat eats it, did I lose it? So where is it then? You haven't lost it. No, I know. Where is okay, it? Okay, good. Thank you. So goat eating it doesn't mean I lost it because many of us okay. haven't memorized it. Now, okay. do you know abrogation in the Quran? Can you tell me the three types of abrogation in the Quran? I know the abrogation in the Quran. Yeah. Okay, what's there the three are... types of abrogation, brother? What's the three types of abrogation in the Quran? There are just uh, two types of abrogation. Some There's of three them types are... of abrogation. No, There's three types that, of abrogation. That's a, that's a made up. That's a made up. Okay, what's the two abrogations that you know? Yeah, well, some of them are not in Quran and some of them are in Quran, but they are abrogated. Yes. So, okay, so can you tell me, give me an example, what's in the Quran, what's the ones that are taken? So you're talking about two abrogations, which, which one? Yeah, is for example, uh, I don't actually uh, believe that that's also abrogated, but anyway, they, those who say that, they say uh, the verse that says that uh, don't enter a prayer with um, uh, when you have drunk right. alcohol, yes, you are drunk, then that's uh, abrogated by uh, the verse that says that alcohol is a work of shaitan, okay? Okay, good. So, so, so we know that abrogation can happen by ruling, abrogation okay. can happen by meaning. Abrogation happened with the text in the Quran, but it's abrogated okay. by another verse. So okay. we know, for example, that the, the, the verses of uh, stoning were sent, yeah? And okay. then it got abrogated, yeah, by wording. But by the ruling, it is still there. And we have evidence from that. Even Omar ibn Khattab said, I fear the day that will come, that people like, don't get me wrong, disrespectful, but people like yourself who will come and reject it. It's from the Quran. Why do you find it difficult? Why is it so no, difficult for you to accept no, it? Because, because in Quran, uh, uh, stoning is mentioned several times by pagans, that pagans do stoning people. So who uh, followed whose uh, command? Pagans were following Allah's command or Allah follow pagans' command by stoning okay. people. So, so well, tell me where the pagans believe stoning because in this Arabian Peninsula before Islam came, there were uh -huh. women who were commit, committing adultery. Like it was happy days. So tell me where is it say there was stoning before? Okay, I, I will uh, just a second. I have to uh, bring it up from Quran. Okay, just a no, second. No. Okay, bring from, it to the Quran. From okay, Quran. Okay. okay. Stoning. Okay. Online dawah. <laughs> yes. Okay, here. Yeah. Uh, <clears throat> chapter 11, verse 91. They said, Oh, Shubai, we do not understand much of what you say, and most surely we, we see you to be weak among us. And were is it not for your family, we would surely stone you, and you are not mighty against us. There are so many other verses, the same no, no, no. thing. One, okay. one second, one second. One second. Uh, chapter yes. 11, verse. Chapter 11, verse 91. <clears throat> chapter, 91. Yes, chapter 18, verse 20. For surely... One second, one second. One second. Let's stick to Surah Hud. One second. 91, okay. yeah, okay. Yeah, so 91. It says, they said, O Shuhayb, we do not understand much of what you say. And in fact, we are, we see you are weak amongst us. But for your clan, we would have stoned you. Can yes. you tell me what's this got to do with stoning adulterers? This is talking well, about them okay, rejecting no. the message. Yes. And yeah. they're saying we will stone you. So can okay. you tell me what's that got to do with stoning to death adulterers? This is talking it, about Shreddy yeah, okay, and then rejecting okay. this message. All right. Yes, it is. Uh, it not, has, no, it has to do with uh, with their practice. It was their laws. No, Allah no, 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 no. Tell me where in the Quran it says the pagans used to stone for adultery. 
It's not about adultery because it is about that it was their practice. Okay, so you follow their practice. Allah Subhanahu wa Taala followed their practice that it was a good practice, and brother, let's follow this practice. Brother, Ahlul Kitab also followed this. The Jews. No. Okay. Religion. What I'm uh, saying. Yes. Is, what I'm yes. Saying, yes. Saying yes but you say, but you believe. Yes. Let me tell you. But you believe that their book is corrupted. How come now you refer to their book? No, no. We say, for instance, just because I believe it's corrupted, it doesn't mean there is uh -huh. no truth there. So I'm uh, thinking, okay. show me where in the Quran it says that the pagans used to stone for adultery and we got it from them. Show me where. Quran doesn't say that it, they, uh, so, so, so Quran, okay, no. no, Quran says that, Quran says that, yes. Quran, Quran okay, says good. that it was so, their practice. Their practice. Okay, no, no problem. The Quran doesn't say it was their practice. The Quran is talking about Shuhayb alayhi salam giving dawah and they are saying we will stone you. Not yes. for adultery. Are you saying that they were accusing Shuhayb alayhi salam of adultery? No, it doesn't okay, matter. It was, it, was their, it was their practice to stone no, people to death. No, no, no. Stoning, well, how else are you going to kill? If they had a gun, they would have used a gun. They have a rock, they're going to use a rock. Yeah, it's not their practice. If they had a gun, they would have used a gun. They have a rock. So the point I'm saying is, on what basis anybody that rejects that the stoning verse is, I'm not talking about you, I'm talking generally, it's a disbeliever. Anybody that says that in the Quran, that for example, the ruling of stoning to death is not there, is a disbeliever. And I'm not so, talking about you, I'm talking generally. Anybody okay. that rejects this, this principle in Islam is a disbeliever. So let me see, let me see. <clears throat> so uh, what somebody has to do to be a barbarian, okay? If, if for example, somebody must pass a, 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 a limit, to be called barbarian. So do you think stoning human being is barbaric or not? No, 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 I don't believe it's barbaric at all. Also, what is barbaric? Can you explain no, for no, us no. what is barbaric? Who defines, who defines barbarism? Who do no, you define yes. liberalism? No, one second. What do you define as barbarism? Can you explain okay, that? Okay, can you define it? Can you define it? Let me tell you, anything, to me, anything that goes against what Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has mentioned is barbarism. What, like, no, I mean that what anything, is barbarism? Anything. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said do A and they don't do A is barbarism. For example, you look at people who are committing adultery today. They are people who are marrying their own brother and sister because you've got one man who's sleeping around and then his kids don't know each other and they're, they're committing incest. That's barbarism to me. That's for you, barbarism. So Yeah, uh, you because know. you know why? Brother, what's your name? My name is uh, Moji. Uh, my, Mo actually, my okay. perfect... Brother Moji, let me tell you something. The reason you're saying this maybe is because you have some kind of an impurity complex. Brother, I'm not shy of my religion. I don't give a damn if the entire globe came. In Islam, there is capital punishment, and I'm proud of that. I am fully proud of it. I am fully happy yeah. with it. I'm fully content with it. Alhamdulillah, Rabbil Alameen. I don't give a damn if somebody comes and says, oh, your religion teaches that. Yeah, my religion teaches that. How does that make my religion false? So what is your problem? You claim you to be a Muslim. Why are you so afraid of this capital punishment? I, I, I really want to understand. I'm Why not afraid. I'm not afraid because it is not in Quran and those who fabricated, no wait, and those who fabricated the Hadith, they said that it was eaten, why it is not in Quran? Because okay. it was eaten by a goat. Have you studied because science it, of Hadith? Have you studied sorry. the science of Hadith? Have you studied the science of Hadith? I know what is Hadith, yes. Okay. Tell, okay. Me, tell me, what is the three conditions that has to be there and two conditions missing for a uh, Hadith to be authentic? The, for, 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 it doesn't matter what is for you, no, no, for no, me, no. Look, look, look. I, I want to take you seriously. Okay. You say you okay. reject the weak hadith. No, what, no. what regulates what is the authentic hadith, what is Hassan hadith, what is Daif hadith? Tell me the, the condition. Okay. The first condition is that it has to match with Quran. It doesn't have to go against Quran. That's okay. the first condition. Okay. No, there's nothing that is going against the Quran. Okay. Do you, do you believe that the Prophet Muhammad married Aisha at six? No, I don't believe in that. Thank you. Let me tell you a problem. Brother, let me tell you a problem. Okay. Your problem yeah. is... You live in the Western world, you are indoctrinated by liberalism, you are so afraid to put, preach your religion that you are rejecting these things. Me, I tell you, the Prophet married Aisha at six and consummated at nine. I have zero problems with that. The difference between me and you is the following. <laughs> I came to Islam, I was you born Muslim or did you come to Islam? Uh, I'm a uh, converted Muslim, yes. Okay, you're converted Muslim. I came to Islam 10 years ago. Brother, I'm not here to sugarcoat my religion. My religion is my religion. So you're, you are too afraid. That's the reason why... People like yourself, I don't mean in a disrespectful way, please forgive me, yeah? Mm. The reason why you have this is because you have an inferiority complex, meaning you are afraid, oh my gosh, I can't say this. I don't, I'm not here to please anybody. So all I'm saying to you, my brother, is don't be afraid. Embrace I'm your religion. I'm not afraid. Look, and I, I, Allah says in the Quran, don't be amongst those who take some parts of the verses and reject some of them. We take the whole Quran, the Sunnah as a whole. I don't pick and choose based on the society that I'm living in that they've changed the norms. I don't give a damn about them. Today, homosexuality was a mental disease 
50, 40 uh, years ago, now it's accepted. No problem. That's their worldview. They can do whatever they like. But I don't uh, um, um, uh, submit to that. So the problem I see with brothers like yourself who reject the hadith is you are inferior. You have this inferiority complex where you're afraid. Oh my gosh, the Prophet married the Aisha at six. How am I going to explain that? We can explain it, brother. I explain it every day here. Capital punishment, yes, it's there. The capital punishment for apostates, it's there. I am fully proud of that. All I ask you, my dear brother, is be proud of your religion. Don't be shy about it. There's cameras here and I'm saying it to them. You know why? Because it's sad. You, like, you know when Abu Bakr, the, the, the Quraysh came to Abu Bakr and they said, you say, they said your, your, your friend, Muhammad, peace be upon him, said that he flew. What did Abu Bakr say? Did Abu Bakr say, no, I don't believe that? He asked a simple question. He said, is what you're saying true? They said, yes. They said, then it is, then I believe it. Why? Okay, that that's as a Sadiq. Oh, my brother, he doesn't care about the opinion of people. I believe the Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, flew to the heavens. I have zero problem with that. So I give you my brother and little Nasi, I have to go and do that. This is a bit virtual. First time I'm okay. to talk, yeah? So the thing is, my dear brother, all I'm saying is please accept, firstly, study science of hadith because you're not aware of it. You can't come and reject the hadith that you don't even know how it comes to us. And if you're going to reject hadith, you have to reject the Quran because the Quran came through the same method. How okay, can I, now can I talk? <clears throat> you say, can I talk? You yes. said that I don't have to reject uh, Quran. No, I don't reject Quran. And the verse is not in Quran because your guys, they lie to us, say that it was eaten by a goat. Because okay. it was, no, wait, wait, let me, now you, I talk, okay? Yeah. Those those people who corrupted uh, Bible and Torah and they enter this barbaric act in their books, they try to enter it in Quran. But because Quran was protected, that's why they came up with fabricated hadiths and they were saying that, oh, it came down, but it was eaten by a goat. So why I have to follow uh, a verse that is not in Quran? Why I have to stone if uh, in the day of judgment, if I stone somebody and in the day of judgment, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says why you did that. Uh, or, or no, let me say like this, that if I don't do that, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala tells me why you didn't do that. I, it was my command. I say that it wasn't in Quran. So how he can put me in task and say that you're supposed to follow something that is not in Quran. So do you believe that there are fabricated hadiths or not? Do you believe in that? I believe there are fabricated hadith and we use the science so, of hadith. How do okay. You... So, so why, why so why you think this hadith is uh, authentic? Can you explain for us why you first, think it is authentic? First, firstly, we know it is authentic. It's from an authentic. Why? Number two, do you reject why it is? Why you know? Why you know? Why you know it is authentic? Do you reject why? some hadith? No, I reject hadiths that are uh, contradicting Quran. Okay? okay, I believe in hadith. So, so, so okay. I, okay. you believe in hadith? Well, yes, I, I believe in hadith. I believe there's weak hadith. What's okay. the problem? What's the point? I believe there's weak hadith. I don't disagree with you with that. And you I believe do... that there are fabricated hadiths, yes? Okay, problem. The, the, the Aisha and her, her, for example, her telling her age in Bukhari that she was six. You're rejecting that. Why? Yes, I reject it because Why? it is, a, yeah, no, because it is a, against Quran. One second. Can you tell me how it goes against the Quran, please? Yeah, because Quran says that uh, when your, uh, you know, orphan children reach the age of um, maturity, then yes. marry them off. So that's six, six, yes, six years old. Any rational person understand that six year old child is not mature enough. Okay, or nine. Brother, if you don't have the hadith, and Muhammad Ijab said this before as well, what you're saying is problematic. I'm telling you, where in the Quran does it go against the Prophet Muhammad peace be upon him marrying Aisha at six and consummating at nine? Give because me a. Son. Yes, Tell me. because it is it is against the entire Quran. It is oppression, violating the child, violating her her, her no, violating her her rights. So, so using liberal standards to look. If you live in the UK a hundred years ago, you would not be saying this. The only reason you're saying this is because of peer pressure from the Western liberal society. You have a problem with this because of that. So I'm telling you very clearly. Where in the Quran does it go against? The Prophet Muhammad peace be upon him, marrying Aisha at six and consummating the marriage at nine when she became an adult. You're okay, not so, 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 so where, where it says, no, you tell me where it says in Quran that you have the right to marry six years old child. Can you okay. give I'm telling you clearly, in the Quran, it does not give you an age limit. Marrying okay. and consummating are two separate things. You need to understand. Okay. Nikah, okay. doing a Nikah contract and consummating are two separate things. You need to know the difference. Why did the Prophet Muhammad wait for Aisha to... Uh, become nine because he was waiting for her to become an adult. You are looking at it from these lens of today. 
1400 years ago was a whole different world. So I'm saying, on what basis are you rejecting it? The only reason you're rejecting so it is because you are pe pe So pedophilia was fine 1400 brother, years brother, ago. Brother, yeah? you don't even know. This is what I'm saying. This is okay. my point that you are brainwashed by liberalism. You're using yeah. the word pedophilia. What is a okay. pedophile? What's a pedophile? Pe Pedophilia What's is somebody somebody who marry a, a six year old child. Okay, so are you accusing the Prophet Muhammad of uh, pedophilia? No, I'm not accusing. I'm I'm accusing that those who lied about Prophet Muhammad. Brother, okay, brother, brother, it's an authentic okay. hadith. You said you don't reject no, authentic hadith. How? No, it is not authentic. It is a fabricated hadith. Brother, okay? brother, the, no, so how it, do you know it is? How do you know it is authentic? Brother, with respect, you just how do you know? How do you know it is authentic? Can you tell me? Brother, do you know the Quran? The hadith came to us same way as the Quran did. Yes, I know. Okay, one second. So you're telling me now I reject weak hadith. When I give you an authentic hadith, you say I also reject that. Do you know no. why you're rejecting it? Do you know why you're rejecting okay. it, brother? Because you're thinking this doesn't make sense to me. Brother, no. you have a limited mind. Listen to me, please. Brother, okay. you have a limited mind. How okay. are you using your limited mind with the liberal Western values that have been indoctrinated in your head? The only reason you have a problem with the Prophet's marriage to Aisha is because you live in the Western world today. If you didn't live in the Western world today, you would not have a problem. So I'm yeah. saying to you, your problem, the Quran is not the problem. The Hadith is not the problem. The problem is with you, brother. You have this understanding that's been indoctrinated in your head. And that's yes. the reason why, if you think about it, anyone that has an issue with Hadith, for some odd reason, they have issues with the capital punishment, the stoning. Why don't you have a problem with something else? Why these things? Because you're uncomfortable. All I'm saying is, brother, with all due respect, have a backbone. I'm telling you clearly, and I want to end on this, inshallah, yeah? I'm telling you, I have no problem with Islam's capital punishment on adulterers, those who commit sex outside of marriage, those who commit theft, those who, um, uh, um, and other sins that they do, yeah? Okay, I don't have no problem. I have no problem with the Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, um, doing a nikah contract, which is called betroth, at the age of six and consummating at the age of nine. There is context. I've spoken to non-Muslim men and women, and I've explained this. Wallahi, they say, you know what? In context, it makes sense. You, as a person who deem yourself to be a Muslim, are rejecting this when a Kafir is accepting it. Please, brother, if you if you're here, okay, come on, then All right. person. I need to go because my hands are in. Uh, you know, I'm living. Yes, I, I'm living in Sweden. That's why I'm come doing this because I, yes. I, 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 another thing. Another thing is that, for okay. example, you say you say you say no killing yes. killing. Uh, you say killing apostate is also uh, you know Islamic, despite I, 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 I never no. I never said. Let me reword myself. I believe there is a yeah. capital punishment for apostasy. And you said before, oh, if I stone, you're not allowed to stone anybody. We live in, if we live in an Islamic Sharia, the Amir does that. Not me. I don't walk around with a rock in my hand looking for people to stone. It doesn't work like that, brother. If somebody does something, the, the Islamic Sharia judge, uh, the Amir deals with that. I don't, it's haram. We don't do, um, we don't go around looking for people who are put, uh, um, committing these things. And it doesn't work like that. The Sheikh Ibn Uthaymin, no, Sheikh Salah Al-Fawzan has a whole book on Islamic jurisprudence. He tells you the conditions, for example, to implement that. It's not in my hands. So what I'm saying is, in, in a nutshell, is that come here, let's talk in person. But it just seems to me, you just have some insecurities, Baba. I'm happy with my religion, alhamdulillah, with everything that he has. No, it's not about insecurity. It's about it's my about, religion. That, you know, it's about my religion. Oh, yes, I should marry. Why don't you pick something no, no. else? Why don't you come no, and no. say, ah, why don't you come and say, Zakia? Why, no. why the Prophet is married to Aisha and stoning? Why yeah, how about how about no? How about killing apostate? How about killing Robert, apostate? Quran okay. says la, Quran Robert, says la ikraha for din. I am telling you, I have no problem with Islam. Yes, you don't have. You, Listen, brother, uh, I have yeah. no problem with Islam's law on treason against those who are rebelling against the state. Now, let me ask you a question: Is this only stipulated for the non-Muslim or, or or to the one who left Islam? Sorry, once this again, this capital punishment is it only for the murtad? As you say, it's for, no, for the Murtad, yes. <laughs> one second. Allah says in the Quran in Surah Hujra, verse 12, uh, if I'm not mistaken, if this is even applied to Muslims, Allah says if there's two Muslim groups and one is rebelling against the other, unless Allah, Allah says you have to fight them. So okay. meaning, if we're in an Islamic land and another Muslim group starts attacking us, we have a right to apply the capital punishment, which is what? Have to fight them. So Islam's yeah. point is what? Corruption in the land. Not if it's okay. an ex-Muslim or a Muslim. Whoever is causing corruption in the land, Islam has guidelines to protect the citizens. What's the problem? But Allah says, "La ikraha fi din." There is no force in religion, so you can decide. You, you can decide to be a Muslim, or you can be uh, anything no, no, else. No, so, no, no, so, no, no, so what is your problem with that? So you go problem. against. Sorry? There is no.
ocean in Islam, meaning when Islam was con uh, taking over lands, Islam, no one, no Muslims forced non-Muslims to become believers. However, once you come into the fold of Islam, there is a capital punishment if you leave. And that is basically treason. Like, look at Edward Snowden. Where is Edward Snowden? Freedom of speech, America. Where is Edward Snowden? Edward Snowden is hiding in China. I mean, Russia. Yeah? And even that guy, who's a WikiLeaks, yeah? Where is the guy? What's his name? Uh, I forgot his name, yeah? The guy, the guy who was uh, uh, um, locked up in the embassy. Where is it? The point you're saying is, again, it goes back to insecurities, brother. I have some, I would say, with, a, with all due respect, please don't find it. I'm trying to be disrespectful. We need to have a backbone. And okay. I, when I come speak, to I need to go now, brother. This brother wants to speak to you. No, no, I want to speak to you. Me? Oh, no. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> all right, I need to go. No, I, I have to give you several verses in Quran that it goes against... The Prophet said, anyone that leaves his religion, capital punishment. Thanks. I'm so sorry.